Okay guys, in this video tutorial, we will learn that how we can make a dice game within the MATLAB. First of all, you need to write guide which opens our graphical user interface. Click on create new GUI and press OK. And we will get our GUI. Now we will first of all we will set our title. We will double click on this static text. We will change the background color to black and foreground color to blue. We will also change the font size to 20 and normal to bold and also simple dice game. Like this and small load for organization sorry background color to black one and this one to the this and press ok set to bold and set to 10 also right here i will write it made by nelson darwin park tech okay now we will take one button this is our push button and we will change it to click This background must be like a gray color and this and this one to like a 14 and this one must be bold okay click okay. then we will take an axis take an axis and we will display our image in that axis but before right click on this button and go to the callback callback is actually a function which will be executed when this button will be pressed so right here Tizer underscore zero zero zero. Save it out. Now this is our function. Now first of all we will declare a variable t and we will write random. Random will create a random number. Any random number. Then what we need to do. But first we will run it and we will see what will happen uh, pr click it and here you are getting 1.8339 again click it and this okay so wait we will just write rent and we will click it we will get in between 0 and one so random rand is function that will just create or produce any random number that is point one point two no one can guess okay now we will write if if t is greater than zero and and t 
sorry it's uh, greater than and not less than if t is greater than 0 and n t is less than 2 sorry 0 0.2 then we will write and and we can write like a print print sorry two sorry print one okay now we will run it and when we will click it when the value is in between zero and zero point then it needs to print sorry you, you are not supposed to write this thing like this because semicolon suppress the output going to the command window so run it okay, again we will click on it when it is greater than zero and Okay, wait. Or we will do one thing that uh, we need to take one edit box. And place here. We will double click on it and remove its spring press enter and it is our edit one so we will write here set handles dot edit one comma string comma t But as t is integer, but still, what we can do like uh, t1 is equal to num to str, we will convert our integer to string via this command, and then we will write here t1 so that t1 value will be on edit one so now now we will run it uh, we will click it and either oh sorry we need to okay wait again go to ggy where you made this edit box and yes and now it came now you can see that when we click and value is in between 0 and 1 it just shows value so we just do one thing now that we will write here too okay and it will be written to okay now we will copy it now we copy the save command and right here six times like uh, if it is like from t is greater than 0.2 and less than 0.4 less than 0.4 then it must be okay for, for first we, we we can write one for second we can write two that is if values from point two to point four three two point four two point six and here we need to write if it is in between Point six and point seven, then it's four. 
and when it is greater than 0.7 and less than 0.8 then it's 5 and for last one okay wait 0.8 okay for last we will write when it is greater than 0.8 and less than 1 and less than 1 then there must be 6 okay also we need to display our image for this game uh, in this axis so so we will write here m show m show is a command for to show image and just give here the link so here is our picture folder dice underscore zero go to the properties and write here this control c and dice underscore zero dot bmp its type so we will okay we will put here and dice underscore zero dot bmp again we will see that either it is zero zero or yes it is zero dot bmp so this is our and there is just one axis so okay now it is one three now the numbers are random we don't know about the numbers when we will click it we will get our number also we need to down it some bit double click on it and we will change here type to 20 and background to black foreground to like a blue press and then just like that okay like this okay now yes okay now it's two it's six it's two it's six two six one two four three two six three six two five two we can't read it uh, about the next number so now you can make your dice like this so hopefully you got the concept the link for xz is given in the description you can download it from the link if there is any problem you can comment and i will respond in no time so thanks for watching this video tutorial